Red Cat has finally joined the mini crawler game and they did not disappoint. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and we have got ourselves the Asset 18. So finally, Red Cat has decided to join the mini crawler game and they did that with the Asset 18. They have gotten so much success with the Ascent that they just made it smaller. So let's open up the box. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what comes with this thing and let's see what color I got. All right, you guys. And here it is, the Ascent 18. And I gotta say, this thing looks, ooh, the tires are nice and supple. This thing looks awesome. Um, the front of the body just came off cause I was kind of pulling. I decided to kind of pull on the body to try to get the box out. But anyway, so let's get this thing unhinged. All right, so it opens up from the back here. So you open it up in the back. Let's see what you get. So, first thing you get, you get your starter guide. You get some stickers, you get some parts that are in a bag there, and you get your USB charger. Now the next thing that we get is your controller. Uh, this is actually a pretty nice controller. So the controller here, you guys, it comes with your steering reverse, throttle reverse, your bind button here in the middle. Uh, you get your steering trim, you get your throttle trim, and your steering dual rate. This is a four channel radio. So you have one, two, three, you have a third channel right there, and you have a button right here that is a fourth channel. And right here you have your on off, Pretty good, nice controller. All right, you guys, and here it is in all its glory, the 118 scale Ascent. And I gotta say, this thing does look awesome. Uh, for those of you that have the 110 scale Ascent, you guys already know that this is the exact same body as the 110 scale Ascent. Now, this thing does come with 1.0 tires, and I believe these tires are, uh, 60 millimeter if I'm not mistaken so these are 60 millimeter tires that are on here and I have got to say that these tires are very very nice and supple so you do get a sticker here in the front that's going to be for your grill your lights uh, the windows do come tinted they are clear but they do come tinted with the stickers on here you have your Stickers here on the side for the light, Ascent right there on the back, on the side, right here on the back it does say Ascent. On the rear you do have hard plastic on the back where it does say Red Cat on there. You have your hard plastic rear bumper and your, of course your hard plastic front bumper. And guys, I gotta say, this thing actually feels pretty, pretty dang good. These are oil fill shocks that are in here. And I gotta say, this thing feels very, very good. So, as you guys know, the way to take the body off of this is right in the back here, you got a little lock. You just turn that like so, and you're able to lift the body up. But, what you can also do which will make it easier to work on it is just slide it forward and the body does come off so as you guys can see the reason that this hard plastic is here is so it can hold onto this piece that will lock up the body onto the chassis and on the front here this is mainly a sticker because there are screws on the back here that are holding this clip in so you can hold it into place here i gotta say guys this thing is really nice it's really nice so the chassis is a stamped chassis it is not a c channel this is an aluminum chassis um 
So the battery already comes set in place in where it's supposed to be. You have your two in one, three channel uh, receiver back here. It is the R3CER. I'm trying to see. So you do have your channel one and channel three. Channel three might possibly be for if you wanna add lights onto this, maybe you might wanna change the body, put some lights onto it. Now the motor that comes on this, I believe it is a larger 180 size motor that comes on here. This thing does come with portal axles front and rear. You have plastic links on the bottom, on the front, on the rear, you have plastic links here in the uh, top also. The, oh, that feels really, really good. <laughs> that feels really good. It's nice. They are locked. I think that the diffs in here, I think they're metal diffs, if I'm not mistaken. We can actually open it up and take a look. All right, so the way that you take off the rear diff cover is there's literally two screws. Hopefully you guys can see there's one hole there and one hole on the top there. And that's all it is, just two screws that hold the diff cover on. Makes it nice and easy to do any type of work on it. So as you guys can see, they are metal gears that are in the diffs. And it just, it look, it's, it's really, really nice and well done. Uh, there is not much grease in here, but there is sufficient amount. So as you guys can also tell in here, there are ball bearings. And, and my, I'm going to say there are going to be ball bearings all around on here. So the other thing that they ended up doing with this is the servo is mounted onto the axle instead of it being mounted on the chassis. And it looks like that the steering is pretty dang good. It looks like it has pretty good steering. And I'm still famished by these tires. They are, they're sticky tires that come on here. I think these tires are going to do pretty dang good. Uh, now there are in the chassis, as you guys can see in the front here, there are plenty of holes that you guys can adjust the suspension on the front and also on the rear. As you guys can see there, there you got three of them there in the front, the two where this is already mounted on, then you got two more back here that you guys can choose wherever, however you want to tune the suspension. You guys have, there are a lot of holes to be able to tune the suspension for this guy. Now, these are oil filled shocks and they do feel really nice. So it does have a plastic uh, body. It does have a plastic body on it, uh, metal cap, but everything else is all plastic. And they feel, I'm still amazed by how good they feel. And you can actually hear it, it's squishy, squishy. So definitely oil fill shocks. And I, I gotta say, this thing looks pretty nice. Uh, they did give you some side rails on here that the body when the body sits on it when the body sits on here the the side pieces here kind of hold the body out so it doesn't end up keeping the uh, keep crushing in so now the battery is a 750 milliamp hour hex fly battery 7.4 volt which fits nicely into that tray now i also have a thousand milliamp hour battery so it definitely fits on here to the point where I have I don't know I guess double the runtime with that battery but what we're going to do is well, we're running the stock battery see how this thing is going to run in stock form so now this is a 118 scale from Red Cat and it looks like that they hit the 118 scale pretty good on the nose as you guys can see here against the TRX4M Bronco. So as you guys can see here with the TRX4M Bronco, the wheelbase is definitely 118 scale. As you guys can see, the front tires and the rear tires are matched exactly, the Red Cat and the Traxxas. Um, Width-wise, I believe 
No. Even even with width wise, you guys can see that it's basically the same width as it's basically the same width as the TRX 4M. And wheel length. Again, also pretty spot on. So the tires on here, they feel pretty dang good and it does feel like it has foams on the inside. And they are vented tires. So it, these tires are glued on, unfortunately. They are not B-locks, but I do like how the tires, the wheels look with the body. It looks very, very nice. Um, again, one of the things that I forgot to mention with the servo, the servo does have your standard plug, so you can, if you need to change out the servo for any known reason, if the servo ends up giving out, you are very easily able to switch out the servo on this guy. Now the gears in the transmission, I also believe that they are metal gears. Uh, don't count me on that. Let's check out and see how much flex this guy you can get out of this guy. I mean, you can always, if you want to, you can always give it some more height. Uh, I'm thinking probably do like a uh, LCG chassis, probably do an LCG chassis on this guy and have it lower so you can get nice articulation on here. So let's check out and see the articulation on this guy. Which that, is pretty dang good for this. Check out the front. And that is about the limit. That right there is about the limit before the rear tire starts lifting. So that's where you're pretty much limited to until the rear tire starts lifting. And I, I think that's pretty dang good. So I'm gonna go charge up this battery we're going to go take it outside to the crawler course and i might take it to the boulder just to see how this guy is going to perform on that boulder and see if it will make it up in stock form all the way up to the top let's go
All right, you guys, so there it is. I am very, very impressed with this little guy. Red Cat is coming up and they're doing some stuff, man. Let me tell you, they they knocked it out of the park with this 118 scale ascent. I am more than amazed. Uh, yeah, it could do with some lower weight down lower. Um, it did flip over a couple times. I think where I have that incline right there up against my shed, it would have made it if the wheels had some weight or if there was some weight down below. Now, Red Cat does also have accessories for this guy. I believe it's aluminum and brass uh, upgrades for this guy already. I am hoping that there are going to be manufacturers that are going to be making hop-ups for this thing because I'm telling you this little guy right here is very good. <laughs> it is very, very good. I am very impressed with it. Red Cat, they're doing very good things. Uh, where they used to be to where they are now, they're doing very, very good things. and. This guy right here in the mini crawler, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed for $119. That is going to be the price for this thing. I would say yes, definitely for, I mean, you're getting a, a lot. You're really getting a lot for that price. Portal axles, metal bearings, uh, 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 ball bearings everywhere and metal gearing and everything this guy i'm telling you is worth it it is definitely worth 119 dollars it is really a shame that the tires come glued on these rims because these tires grip up very very nicely i think maybe just maybe with some brass c hubs and some brass links some weight down below with these stock ribs and tires, this thing is gonna be one heck of a competitor for the mini crawler game. I really do. I think this is gonna be a really good crawler for the mini crawler game. For the mini crawler class, I'm sorry. I mean, just the articulation that this thing has, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's Red Cat, I applaud you. You guys came out with your very first mini crawler and you just knocked it out of the park. If you guys want to pick one of these up, go to Redcast website or your local dealer 
$119, you can't go wrong. You all have a good one. Keep RCing.